Yeah, the team wearing the black shirts tonight, Jim, with the pink trim. Black and pink, yeah. Good work there from Polina winning it back. But it's strange because it's, uh, it's not really solid black, is it? It's, there's black and pink stripes involved, I think. There's an opportunity here for Son. Black stayed down, Burnt Leno. Did well, the referee, I think, has given a free kick for a foul on James Madison. And the players seem to stop momentarily. It was fed through for Son, who got in behind the defenders. But Leno was forced to make the save, and he did very well to do so. But uh, the free kick had already been awarded. Son, I think, was onside. Certainly the flag stayed down. Yeah, he felt it was a foul by Castagna there coming in field on Madison. Can go back to the top of the table with a win. Probably Decadova Reed working hard there. They're looking for a free kick. Dogie certainly was, but uh, referee Anthony Garner says play on. They've still got possession with Mickey van der Van. It's uh, noticeable how their defenders have got forward so much in these opening few minutes. Madison goes down again, this time a little trip from uh, Jao Polina, making a right meal of it. The left foot did come out, he just caught him, but. Uh, I can't imagine that was uh, anywhere near as painful as Madison's making it look. He's caught him around the shin, Jamie. It's late and it is a free kick. But he's holding his knee, Jim. It's nowhere up there, is it? it as you said, it's down towards the ankle. It's another free kick. And the intention was there, as we see so often, and we've seen it so many times this season. He went down looking to try and get Paolini a book. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's... it's Unedifying, really. So many teams do it. I'm not saying that maybe we don't sometimes do it. I don't know, but they target Jao Polina, his reputation and his... Uh, Madison with the free kick in. There's a free header inside the box, and then it's turned over the bar, thankfully. I think it was Mickey van der Van who uh, eventually got the side-footed volley. Free kick floated into the box. It was a free header. Yeah, Romero won the first header. Yeah, back towards the penalty spot, and uh, Van der Van there is an awkward one to deal with, but probably did us a favour, it was a centre-half. Taking on that uh, side-foot volley. And Bassi there just nicking that back off uh, James Madison. Uh, Leno with a clearance up towards the halfway line. Vinicius with his first touch, I think, just cushioned it into the path of William, who's picked out Bobby Decker over Reed, plays it into the box. Clever little ball, and there was a good run forward from Sasha Lukic, it's had to be turned behind the first corner of the game. Romero, I think it was, who's pushed it behind. Fulham have a corner from the right-hand side. Nice ball, wasn't it, out towards Bobby on this right-hand side. The space is in the wide areas with the way Tottenham defend. It just opened up, he looked to try and tease a little ball in. Good defending from Romero facing his own goal. Pereira will take the corner from the right-hand side. It'll be an outswinger with the right foot. Decent looking ball, it's headed. Oh, it's a great save. It was headed, I was going to say, inside the post, but uh, Michel Polina, I think, with the header, was it? But a uh, good, powerful header from 12 yards or so. It's a great save from Vicario flying to his left hand side to keep it out. Good, powerful header. He tried to place it in the corner and he scrambled across to his left hand side, got a hand to it. And then I think this uh, defender went to clear it, it's gone out of play. Maybe off Castagna, the goal kick, I think, is being awarded. Well, they've done remarkably well, haven't they, the architects, to change it around? Yeah, absolutely brilliant, really, from the home fans' point of view, on the same site, virtually. Really, really impressive as Tim Ream, who's also really, really impressive, finds William left-hand side. If they keep booing him, ho hopefully, Jamie, that will spur him on. Here's Anthony Robinson. That's a good run. If he can get there and get a cross in, well, he was balked a little bit there. He could have gone down, but... He managed to get the byline, pull it back into the box, but it wasn't the best of balls, and now there's a chance for Tottenham to break. Kuliseski down the right-hand side. Tim Marin goes across to close him down. Squares it towards Richarlison. Oh, he's put it wide. I think some of the uh, Tottenham fans, certainly in the far end of the ground, or the opposite end of the ground, maybe thought that had gone inside the post, Jamie. He tried to place it. There's a quick break, and it just shows how uh, quickly we can be turned around and caught out. Kuliseski just pulling it back, and it's uh, nicely weighted, and he's tried to uh, just squeeze it past Burnt Leno inside the far post as we look. He's only inches wide, to be fair. 
So if we could get another one here tonight, you'd certainly take that, double our tally, but uh, there's an opportunity for Son inside the box. Tim Ream did well to get back, though. Goal side of him, nicked the ball away and find Polina. He found William, he was steamed into there. This could be the first yellow card of the game, and I think it will be. It's Hoivier. I know if Polina made that tackle, he'd uh, yellow card him. And the referee has done so. Hoivier, he was late there on, uh, on William. He went sliding through. He's never going to catch the ball for me. Going like that. <coughs> Excuse me. First yellow card of the game. For the Southampton man, the uh, Danish international. Pierre Emil Hoybier. Here come Tottenham again. Here's Son, edge of the box. He's worked it onto his right foot. Well, from the full and free kick, we've lost possession. And we've seen barely anything of Son in this opening half an hour, but. Uh, Yellow card there. The Tottenham midfielder, Hoybier, with the free kick. We've given possession away, and then they've uh, two simple passes. In your heart, you've seen your mouth, Jamie, once he turned onto his right foot there. We've seen a missed kick from him previously, but Bert Leno there to Calvin Bassey, and then the forward ball was easily cut out. He's on side, Son, as it was poked through by Richarlison. He just took the touch, stepped onto his right foot. He created the perfect angle for the shot. And then, to be fair to him, executed it well. But it's annoying because we were getting, we were still in the game. And once again, we we're having to say it's a goal uh, made by our own doing, really. It's a mistake at the back. The ball out of defence wasn't good enough. Back for Calvin Bassey, right-hand side of central defence, and then back for Bernd Leno. Takes a touch, pushes it back for Bassey once more. He's going to be on his right foot again. And once again, he's found one in and gives possession away. Here's Son, and it's 2-0. It's 2-0, and it's James Madison. And unfortunately for Calvin Bassey, it's uh, a repeat. Bernd Leno, I think, Jamie, when it was fed back to him, initially thought about uh, pushing it this way for Tim Ream, and maybe should have done... But he checked back onto his right foot. He fed it out to Calvin Bassey in the right back position. Who's gone to clear it with his right foot? You, you just sensed it was going to cause him a bit of a problem. He wasn't going to be 100% confident, and he's turned it straight into the path of a Tottenham player. And there's an offside in the middle there, but uh, is he not offside when he received that son. He's fed it to Madison. The referee certainly not. Disallowing that. I just wondered whether Son was in an offside position when it was fed forward to him, but he's found Madison. A good finish from him. Just took the slightest of touches with his uh, left foot and then pushed it past Berkman over his right foot. It's 2 0. Calvin Bassey once more, but he's got a bit more time. And he's got uh, Castagna there square to find him, but then Calvin Bassey's put under a bit of pressure. Well, Tim Reams made the block, and then Bassey in the end blocks Richarlison off as well. It's going to be a goal kick rather than a corner, but that's almost turned into a nightmare, Jamie, because he got caught again on his wrong foot, lost possession inside the penalty area. If they'd have got a third goal, then you'd have to be saying he's got a hat-trick of assists. You know, that makes it an awful night for Calvin, and uh, he doesn't deserve that because he... By and large, it's been really good. Tim Ream coming to the rescue there with an important interception, and then Calvin throwing his body at uh, Richarlison. In the end, they uh, almost got themselves in a muddle, but uh, Kuliseski brings it away. Willian is after him, forces him in field. And Harrison Reed blocked him off. They're appealing for a foul, but play goes on, and Jimenez is there. The shot on target was well saved. I thought the moment had finally arrived for Raul Jimenez. It uh, was played in beautifully to him. He took it first time. He maybe had time to take a touch. Tottenham felt there'd been a foul. But the referee played it on, and it was a good goal-scoring opportunity for uh, Raul Jimenez. He's back on the ball now. He to set up the finish. Here's Tom Kearney for William. And looking sharper. Here's Alex Iwobi onto the right foot. Good block in the end. 
sliding in, and they will get a free kick, I think, on this occasion, far side. Brennan Johnson's gone down. I thought the uh, moment had arrived there, Jamie. It opened up nicely for us, really, once uh, the referee played the game on. Harrison Reed seemed to catch Kulisewski, but play went on. It's fed through beautifully. Decided to go first time. He's hit it cleanly and with plenty of power, but the keeper really has got his angles right, and in the end, it's a comfortable save. He's got to whip it a little bit further in the wrong place, and one of them, I think, was possibly a moving ball as well, but he pulled Fulham back. Here's Tom Kearney. He's done well, looked lively since coming on. Ball into the box towards Jimenez, a little back heel towards Tom Kearney. Got the shot away, but it was a desperate lunge came in. I think it was Hoybier with the block. And in the end, a comfortable take for the keeper. But he's looked lively, Tom, since he's come on, Jamie. And as we find ourselves saying, always when he comes on as a sub, he's made a difference. It's still the only game they've lost all season to us, but uh, obviously it was by and large two B-sides. But there's a nice ball through from Alex Uwobi. Harry Wilson's in. He's got an opportunity here. Oh, he's cut back onto his left foot. I think he should have taken the shot on a bit sooner. Harry was uh, determined to set himself onto his left foot. 